Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, welcome back to my shitty book review channel where I do a terrible job at reviewing good books. Not that I don't try, but what are you going to do? I'm just me. This week, we're going to be talking about Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. I talked about this book so much as I was reading it that my fiancé, who will be my wife in a little over a month, decided that she's going to read it herself. So we're going to get into this book briefly, but first, stay tuned and just bear with me throughout my shitty intro. Alright everybody, so this is a really difficult book to break down, really, because it was probably one of the most original books I've ever read. And I don't say that lightly because I do look for books that are very original because almost every story has been told already and I really am just always looking for something that's going to just impress me and just take me to a different place. Now, of course, since this book is about the lives of transgendered people, that's already about as different as it gets for me. And I started reading books about the transgender community because I have currently finished the fourth draft of my own book about an MMA fighter who falls in love with a transgendered woman. And I want to do some research on this subject to just better educate myself as I move along through further drafts. And I did read another one called If I Was Your Girl, and I reviewed that the last time. And this was another one that the kind staff over at Barnes & Noble here in Augusta, Maine decided to bring to me. And I thought this was just fascinating. Now, of the two books, I liked the first one more because it was a YA and it just focused on the story. But this one is literary fiction. And technically, this one wins because I'm a huge fan of literary fiction. And what this book did was just focus on the characters rather than the story. And this book was more beneficial to me to understanding where that community is coming from. Which is why I spoke about it so much while I was reading this book to my fiancé. And which is why she picked it up because she was fascinated by the things I was telling her. Now what makes this book so interesting and so original is Detransition Baby. Right? Notice that little comma right there. It was a little confusing at first and it took me a little while to figure out where she got the title from and the first person that our main character Reese uh, is talking about being in a relationship was this transition uh, this transgendered woman named Ames who was first a man and then decided to go through all the all the hormone blockers and transition into a woman and then because of some stuff that happened later on in the novel decided to detransition back to a man. Once Ames became a man again, not realizing that he now could get someone pregnant because all the damage done to his genitalia throughout all the hormone therapy, he accidentally got his boss pregnant. His boss is a cisgendered woman, which I learned is, and I could be getting this wrong, but from what I gather from this book, is just a woman who was born a woman. So they get pregnant. During the relationship with between Ames and Reese, our main character, one of Reese's main things is she wanted to be a mother. And it was just fascinating to see how much that drive took over Reese's life. And it's it's just that biological clock was ticking, but because she lacked the proper equipment inside of her she couldn't properly make one herself and it was just weird because biologically you know she has that biological clock there so it was just fascinating so Ames gets the big idea well why don't we co-parent this child with another woman and that way everyone will kind of win and it was a bit fishy to me you know if if someone approached me with a conversation like that, like say I uh, got a girl pregnant and she was like, oh, by the way, I know this woman who would love to be a mother. Can I co-mother it with you being the father? And I would say no. So I kind of assumed that the, the woman, Catherine, in this book would have a little more of a problem than that. But 
she seemed pretty open to it, and it was just fantastic. Oh, Katrina, I mean, not, not Catherine. I apologize. I had to look in the back of the book to double-check that. It was just fascinating how they reached this conclusion about how the three of them are going to work together to make the, raise this child. And then at the end of the book, it, it becomes all this drama about how maybe it's not going to happen. And that's one of my favorite things about literary fiction is how it doesn't really focus on a story. The story doesn't end. You're left wondering what are these characters going to do. I love that. As most of you who watch my channel know, I'm a big fan of John Steinbeck. And that's one of the reasons. You just don't really have an ending. The story continues in your head and you're just left wondering. I love that. One of the other things that made this book so original was it focuses heavily on backstory. Now, normally when I see heavy backstory, I see it in the indie community because they don't know enough to leave it the hell out of a book. However, this right here made the book better because every single scene that moved the plot forward went into like 20 scenes in the past and it was just so focused on how these characters came to be where they are now that it was just absolutely fascinating and that's what drove the story along was the backstory so there may be tons of books out there like that i've never seen one like that before and i thought that was just such a wonderful way to present a story i just it was original to me and again i could be wrong but i thought that tori peters did a fantastic job at presenting a new way to develop the craft of writing and it was just fascinating how she did it let's give you a quick look at what she looks like um see if i can find a picture of her in here but she was cool she was just so cool i i, I really appreciated the talent and the skill so much that I did a little bit of research on her and I just wanted to learn more. Uh, a little bit of this book takes place in Western Massachusetts, which is close to my heart. And that's where Ames is originally from, and I thought that was kind of cool. And I also want to be a little honest with you here. There was a couple scenes at the beginning of the book where I was like, I think I made a mistake picking this book up because it seemed to me like she was trying way too hard to just use these huge words that were just unnecessary. I... I saved, uh, I saved it just for the video, but it looks like when I let Patty borrow the book, she must have uh, lost that page on me. But I wanted to read you an example of just all the crazy big words that she was using and all the elaborate sentencing structure. And I was, I was going to put the book down. But I kept reading because it was just so fascinating. And then about maybe, I mean, by the time I was done with the first chapter, about page 42 or so, I didn't even care that she was using words that I needed a dictionary to look up or all these terms that made no sense to me or these big, long, elaborate sentences because she presented it in such an eloquent fashion. And then with her very unique, in my opinion, use of backstory and also with this world that I am not a part of and I don't understand at all, but am fascinated to learn that this entire community that lives parallel to us, but completely invisible to me, I guess, exists. And it's almost like a different world that folks like myself, straight men, straight people, just don't know or understand or really even see in our day-to-day -day lives. So it was just fascinating to read about this community of folks that coexist with us and to learn how they live their lives. And I just, honestly, I just, I can't, I can't praise Tori's talent enough you know I may still be a little bit ignorant to that kind of a lifestyle but I know a little more now so that's always helpful and it's always good to read books about different people different cultures and just kind of give yourself a better rounded view of the world around us that's about it for today's video I'm going to keep it brief because I don't know what else to say about it just it was wonderful give it a shot for yourself all right, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing to my channel. I do a shitty job, but I admit it in the title. It's a shitty book review channel. <laughs> but you could have tuned into any book review channel. For some reason, you decided to tune into mine. I appreciate the hell out of you for it, and we'll catch you next time.